Hi. Today, we're taking a look inside the UZI factory. The UZE's iconic receiver begins as a flat sheet of cold rolled steel, guided by skilled hands. The air hums with latent power. This gargantuan cast iron frame, stained with years of labor. This monumental machine holds the potential energy of a thousand tons ready to transform the pristine metal. In this environment, speed and precision are paramount. Another receiver blank joins the pile, one of thousands produced every hour. Under immense hydraulic force, the cold rolled steel groans, forming the iconic 90 degree bend of the Uzi receiver. This brutalist action, repeated thousands of times, permanently joins the receiver rails to the stamped steel body. In a split second of violent industrial alchemy, the copper electrodes fuse the stamped steel receiver, creating the iconic UZ. Tibet. The precise folds and cauterized spot welds define the receiver's brutalist geometry. It is then placed on the cooling rack. Ensuring the billet is secure for the precise work ahead. This high carbon steel must withstand the violent subtractive process. Clamped in the greasy jaws of the industrial lathe, the raw steel is transformed through brutalist efficiency into a rifled component. The brutalist form of the milled bolts reveals the fine tool marks, a testament to the heavy industrial process behind every weapon.
The abrasive blasting process is critical transforming the raw steel into a uniform matte finish, preparing it for its final chemical coating. The baptismal moment, as the Uzai receivers descend into the superheated phosphating solution. This is the alchemical baptism, where the sandblasted steel reacts, forming a durable, corrosion-resistant coating. As the receivers approach the fiery maw, the coating is baked permanently onto the steel, completing the parkerization process. A testament to utilitarian design, the Uzi's components emerge, their brutalist form now protected by a per- The cold, brutalist efficiency of the UZ is evident as the barrel is guided firmly into the stamped steel receiver, locking securely into the trunnion. With a quick, efficient turn, the wrench tightens the nut, finalizing the assembly with a satisfying click. The coarse polymer grip seats decisively into the folded steel receiver, a perfect fit highlighting the efficiency of the modular system.